guys, so it is December 8th, I believe. Could be the 9th. It's the 8th. I think it's the 8th. Anyway, um, <laughs> I got a package in the mail today, and this is the first of three, four that I have coming. But this is what I got. So I've got another 40 sheets of this vinyl matte paper. And I also have um the glossy coming in this too and i also have a um a waterproof sticker paper coming from another company excuse me miss um archer's over there trying to play with the medicine ball on the floor and i'm assuming the cat is under the christmas tree because he's nope he's already had breakfast but he's just it's it's rotten outside today and uh, the cat's there sitting on the windowsill but uh oh geez he's uh he's not happy because he can't get outside to play if he pulls down that christmas tree i'm gonna be so hey leave it i'm gonna be so disappointed in him Hey guys, just want to let you know that if you purchase from my Etsy store between December 10th and the 24th of 2020, you're going to get your name put in for a giveaway for everything that you see in the picture here. So if you've already purchased or you plan on purchasing, just be aware that you have a chance to win this little goodie pack here. And I uh, just wanted to pop that in because I failed to mention it in the rest of the vlog. Hey guys, so it is the 14th of December. I am making a couple Christmas gifts for um, my mom and dad. That's my mom and dad at my wedding in 2019. And I thought I would do something handmade to go with something else, something little this year. I have two of these wooden boards here. And um, I have some Mod Podge right here and what we're going to do is we're going to do some photo transfers and i'm just going to have to, they don't usually watch my videos anyway so i don't think it's going to matter um but it's going to be a christmas gift and this is going to go up a week before christmas so hopefully a family member or somebody doesn't see it and and break the news if any family is watching this don't tell my parents um simple as that uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm, I need to cut out these because they're they're too big for starters. Um, I have some lines previously drawn on where I need to make the sizing. And then basically what I'm going to do, um, there's two different ways. I've seen some people paint the wood and I've seen some people paint the paper itself. So I think for the sake of not making a mess, I'm going to paint directly on the wood with the Mod Podge. And then you turn this over stick it down you wait 24 hours go back in with a damp cloth and rub all the paper off and the ink has then transferred onto the wood this is from a laser printer by the way i do have a laser printer down there it only prints black it's not a colored laser printer or anything it'd be great for foiling which i'm going to try to do later as well so i'm going to go ahead and make these i'll show you the process along the way let's go and get this started and um, hopefully it works on the first try so this is the dilemma that we have here as soon as i go into the studio space i'm saying studio space but it's a spare bedroom um, to do anything we have these savages out here um rompsing around and doing as they please and i can't be in two places at once so that that's one of the problems that i have with with getting anything done hopefully he'll calm down for a bit he's usually still asleep at this time he's like a toddler and he has nap times but I've got a mess on the floor to clean up but i gotta go back in and try to get all of this stuff done because i got a lot of things i need to get done today and i gotta get those christmas gifts done but all right, guys, you're going to have to excuse my um, capris and my baggy sweater. It's comfortable, um, but let's get these done. And like I said, hopefully they work on the first go.
since it's kind of been a long time no see, I guess, uh, so I thought I would pop on today. Um, as mentioned in an earlier clip, it is the 14th of December, and um, I haven't done a whole lot of vlogging. Uh, I did I film a couple of clips here and there, um, but I haven't really done a whole lot. Last week I was battling with a really bad sinus thing. I don't know if it was really an infection, but it felt like my head was in a vice for about a week. And I really couldn't do much of anything, but I have been like laying around working on stickers and coming up with some new designs for things. And um, that's pretty much all I've been doing really, watching a lot, a lot of YouTube and a lot of TV. And over the weekend I did play some Wii U as well. Um, other than that, I had to learn how to stop this umming thing. I'm trying to cut out as much of it as I can. Um, I'm getting a... Uh, <laughs> there we go again. I'm getting a microphone for Christmas. Uh, it's not like a Blue Yeti or one of the Snowball ones, but it does have really good reviews on uh, Amazon. And when I get it, I'm going to start doing some more podcast type things. And I'm hoping it's going to uh, work for me for doing voiceovers and things like that. So maybe I can get into making some tutorial videos and, and what have you. So it comes with like a boom arm and everything. And I, I'm going to probably unbox it on Christmas Day, provided it gets here in time, because if you don't know, we live on an island off the east coast of Canada, and the mail is horrible here when there's weather, and because of COVID, um, things are even slowing down a little bit more than normal, so it may or may not get here for Christmas, and a lot of our Christmas items were ordered off of Amazon. Some will be here this week, some will be here next week, pushing it for the 23rd. Some may not arrive until after Christmas. So we're not going to have a full Christmas this year, but we're going to sit down and open all of our gifts up in one day. So that's going to be a bit different, but we are grateful that we're even having Christmas at all because I know there are some people in the world that are just not having Christmas this year or they're celebrating Christmas alone. So at least we have our family, some of our family anyway, my parents are going to be here. We live next door to each other and we consider ourselves like one household. Uh, so, but unfortunately all of Jeremy's family is away um, in Manitoba. So it will be um, FaceTime with them on Christmas Day and for um, like New Year's and, and, and what have you. So now this is going to be the third Christmas that we've spent here uh, in Newfoundland since we've been together. And we've been together almost 11 years. Uh, this week is going to be a busy week for me. Um, if you can tell, I'm so tired and I am still battling the sinus thing a little bit. So please, please, please bear with this. Uh, I wasn't going to go on camera at all, but I decided against it because uh, I interact with you guys and it, if you guys are here for me, then you'll understand I'm not feeling well. And uh, anyway, the dogs are being bothersome again now. They're chasing the cat. This week I have the... I am working on a Death Head Moth for the exclusive Patreon sticker uh, for this month. So if you're interested in that, Patreon links are down below in the description. Uh, you can find the Etsy shop down there as well. And um, I have a exclusive button that I need to make for Ashley because she's in the goodie box tier. So um, that is what I plan on doing today. Unfortunately, I can't show any of it. So that's why I wanted to show me in the process of making the Christmas gift uh, for my parents. So uh, tomorrow uh, I'm going to be finishing off my 50s sticker set. So I am making like a 50s themed sticker set. Uh, I'm going to have like five or six stickers. They're going to be like a mini pack like I have been making before and I really enjoy making those little mini packs. And I'm hoping you guys are going to like the stickers as well. They're very pastelish pinks and blues. Um, what you'd expect to see I guess in that era. Then I want to, I need to make a wallpaper for the end of the month. I'm trying to get ahead. I'm, I'm looking all professional here with the pen. Let me put that down. <laughs> um, I want to get ahead with Patreon stuff because um, Jeremy is going to get uh, nine days off of work. Uh, he has to work two days in between the nine. It's four, uh, five and then work two and then he's off four. Uh, for Christmas, I don't want to do any business related stuff. B I'm business, it's not really a business. Um, I don't want to do anything like that on those days off. Those are for the family to spend together. Um, of course I'm going to sit down and do some sketching, but I don't want, um, I don't want to be doing this stuff. Um, like working on Patreon and working on designs for Etsy. Like if I'm going to do art, I want to do it for me. So I want to get my, um, 
wallpaper done and um, I wanted to send something out that's related to me not well not related to me but related to Newfoundland related to who I am is probably I should say so I'm going to create two uh, freebie stickers I'm gonna do a puffin uh, not the Christmas puffin that you've seen I'm gonna do a different one a Christmas puffin and I'm gonna do a jelly bean row house and those are gonna be my freebie stickers with along with my thank you card when I send out items those are like newfie things so I thought I would do that uh, I also a long time ago created some sticker sheets with newfie slang on it so what I think I might do is I might do them again but instead of sticker sheets I might do them in die cut I can also pop one of those in as a freebie as well um, and they have like meanings behind them so we'll uh, some people have received little buttons with the sayings on it but I can also do stickers as well so that's something that I'm gonna be working on for the new year and um, I want to edit the vlog get it up early so Thursday for patreons to see and the, that doesn't pertain to you guys now because you're not going to know the difference anyway. Um, Patreons will get to see the vlog hopefully Thursday night and then it'll go live for everybody else on Friday. And um, I also have to work on an original mini, original painting or sketch or whatever uh, for Ashley because that's also, uh, you get an original in the goodie box as well. So that's what I have for this week, including finishing off uh, the gift for my parents. So that's everything that I have to do and if you guys, oh my hair is a mess, if you guys know me well enough, you know I procrastinate, you know I dawdle like I'm doing right now. Um, I would like to get the button finished and the death head moth finished by 3 o'clock, it's 20 after 11 right now, and then I can kind of have the rest of the day to work on the 50 sticker and spend a little time doing something for myself, maybe play some more Wii again. I don't have a Switch, I wish I had a Switch, but I don't have one, but uh, I do like playing the Wii U, oh well. Um, so yeah, that's the plan, so I will catch up with you guys a little bit later. Storm. I haven't driven in a snowstorm in a while. I've done it plenty of times. Um, but uh, I think I might leave the camera running the entire trip just in case something happens. Um, I'm in a Jeep and I got four wheel drive uh, turned on. And I also just received a message that there's not going to be any school this afternoon. So my phone's going to start ringing in a second from the school telling me that school's getting shut down. So they knew this was happening today and they should have canceled school to begin with because they've canceled school for less worse weather if that makes sense um but i am going to try to get in gander as quickly and as safely as i possibly can to pick up jeremy and then uh, i head home and clean up because i was just about ready to clean the house and get my day started all right guys so here is the result of the image transfer that i did uh earlier in the week um they did not turn out at all um none of this stuck down at all. Um, I'm wondering if I just didn't put enough Mod Podge on the wood and the more I try to get this paper off the more it looks like this. Um, this one here turned out a little bit better than this one but it's not the easiest thing to do. It took me forever to rub off all of the paper and um, yeah I, I don't know what I did wrong but it didn't turn out right so this project has been officially scrapped.
guys, we are uh, trying out shrink film again in the studio today. Um, this is the crystals that I tried doing a while ago and uh, they didn't turn out the way that I wanted to with the resin that I had. So I did end up buying some of this. There's uh, 10 of these came with this little mini LED light. So we're going to give that a go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these out. These are, um, I put them down to 50% opacity because I saw that on someone else's video. And apparently when they uh, they shrink, they're going to get more vibrant. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. So I'm going to quickly cut one out and shrink it and see how that works. And then um, what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to paint around the outside with a gold paint that I have. We're going to see how that works. Then we're going to use the UV gel and attach a backing pin to it to see how well that works. So um, first step is to shrink it. I've showed shrink film being shrunken in the toaster oven quite a few times. So I'm gonna skip that step and I'm gonna come back when I'm ready to use the UV gel. And then I can give you guys some kind of an idea um, if this is actually worth buying or not. Um, I was expecting this to be quite a bit bigger to be honest with you, um, but hopefully, hopefully it does the trick. So we'll see in just a little bit. So I'm gonna go work on this and uh, I'll come back and show you the process of putting on the UV gel and hopefully it might help somebody else trying to make these pins as well. All right guys, sorry about the awkward angle here, but this is what I have. Um, I just wanted to say this thing is very, very flimsy. It doesn't stay open um, and it's very flimsy for staying um, up like this. You can actually use it. So what I think I might do is I might put some tape on here to make sure the legs stay apart and they don't try to close on me. So I'm just going to take a little bit of um, just a little bit of this tape here. It's just uh, masking tape. I'm gonna put this down here. Um, while I'm working on this, for those of you who want to know, um, Jeremy is home and he is uh, doing a lot better than he was on Tuesday. He ended up spending, or we ended up spending most of the day and most of the evening. We didn't get home until nine from the hospital. He didn't have a concussion, uh, but they, they were worried for that. So they decided to, you know, uh, get a CAT scan and everything done. The ambulance had been called by the time I got in Gander to pick him up. I'm just trying to get this in frame here. Um, so they did end up calling the ambulance as I was on the way into Gander. That was the last clip I filmed with me driving through town. He is home. He has been off work for the past couple of days because every time he stands up, he gets dizzy and uh, he gets nauseous. So, um, it wouldn't, he's out there yelling at the dog. <laughs> it wouldn't have been very well for him to go to work and have to drive home in the dark if he's constantly being sick. So basically I was going to paint around the outside with this rose gold here, but as you can see, there's a lot of little intricate um, places to get into. And I think I'm gonna save that for when I do something that's more of like a, a circular shape or uh, a different shape than this where I don't have to get into those nooks and crannies. I hope you guys can see this okay. Uh, I'm just using some, um, packaging tape here or the masking tape the same thing that I put on this just to adhere this too so when I put it underneath the uh the led light here it's going to be easy to maneuver and uh it's easier for me to hold than to hold it in my fingers and put the gel on so let's just get right into it and oh it's it's coming out already um I'm just going to put a little bit on here I'm not really sure how much of this I need. And this is the stuff that's not supposed to get hard until you put it underneath the light. So um, I think maybe what I could be doing with this is using, um, what do you call it? Uh, what, like a nail brush type thing. Apparently you still need to use, you still need to use some heat to get rid of bubbles in this. And I've got my heat gun or my torch left out in the, living room because I have been using it to light the fire because it's a lot easier than using a lighter. I'm also going to use some of this gel to add here the backs on. So what I'm going to do real quick here, this resin stinks. I'm not wearing respirator and I probably should, but I didn't think this was going to be like the other stuff. Um, if it's anything like using like gel for your nails, you can't um, add another layer once 
um, you clear off that tackiness. So I'm hoping that it's kind of the same because I used to do my own nails quite a bit as well, but I stopped doing it because it used to frustrate me too much and I, I stopped doing my nails that way. But all right, so I've got my little torch here. This is the one that I use for doing my other resin stuff and I'm going to turn the flame down quite a bit. So I'm just going to, because I'm working on my desk here with paper. I think that's all I needed. That just popped all the bubbles. So I'm going to take this and put it to one side, move that, turn this on, and let's see what happens. I'm hoping that it's going to harden up. And there was really no instructions with this. This is what it looks like. If you can see it. Oh my God, that stinks. It's got a really pungent odor. Yeah, I think um, a mask or something with this would be really good to use. Um, it is hard, but now there are some bubbles. Um, so I'm gonna do another coat of this and, and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so just a couple of tips. I've got, I've got to clean up this space so I can have a little bit of a cleaner workspace for doing this stuff. Um, so the tape on the legs here really did help. The light is curing the resin, which is great. One thing that I've just learned is that if you make a little mistake and you need to fill in an area, you have to do the entire thing. So I am not actually going to put the backing pin, um, the butterfly clip on this one because I can't sell it. All right, guys, so just another angle here of the, the resin piece. It's not as shiny as it was. Uh, I think it's because I used that little swab, um, the pad thing there to clean it, and now it's all gone weird. So what I think I might do is put another coat of the epoxy, or the resin here, on the top of it, and maybe that'll even even out this little space that I have down here. I can't sell this one, obviously, because it's just a, an experimental piece, but um, yeah, I can't say I'm 100% happy with it. You can you can see all the little defects in there and my fingerprints and everything um that shouldn't happen but like I said it's nice and hard um it would be still easy to break it if you tried hard enough to break it um but I mean it's not it's not horrible uh so I'm going to cut out the rest of them and shrink them a little bit later and try to get them to look like this I really would like to be able to paint around the edges but as you can see it's a teeny tiny space in there um but anyway I'm gonna call the vlog done um like I said it's been a crazy week and I just wanted to get something out I hope this was a little bit um, insightful for someone trying to um, learn how to do this. I may have confused some people. I don't know, but I will update you in the next vlog um, to make sure that these go over a little bit more well the next time. And my sticker paper is on the island, so I'm excited for that. And I should be getting it maybe tomorrow, if not um, Monday or Tuesday of next week. So pretty excited for that. All right, guys, I hope you're having a great week. Uh, I hope everyone has a great weekend and I will talk to you guys all soon. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.